Pro Plus 2 has four stack bar graphs that easily allow you to monitor key elements of your dive. Those bars are the tissue loading bar, the oxygen accumulation bar, variable ascent rate indicator, and the air time remaining bar. Let's have a look at the tissue loading bar first. The tissue loading bar graph represents tissue loading of nitrogen, showing you relative no decompression or decompression status. As your depth and elapsed dive times increases, segments will be added to the tissue loading bar graph. And as you ascend to shallower depths, the bar graphs will begin to recede, indicating that additional no decompression time is allowed for multi-level diving. This indicator has 12 tick marks. The first nine are part of the green zone and progressively indicate how close you are to the no decompression limits based on the depth and length of your dive. The 10th and 11th mark are the yellow caution zone and indicate you are pushing the limits and you should start your ascent as soon as possible. And the 12th mark tells you that you have reached your no stop limit. Enter the red decompression zone and you now have to carefully follow the computer instructions to make a safe ascent. As you might recall from the introduction to dive computer classes, the absorption of nitrogen in the human body could be modeled as a set of tissues of different characteristics. To simplify, we call them fast, medium, and slow tissues. The Pro Plus 2 tissue loading bar graph will always display the value of the leading tissue. Let us look at an example. In this case, after 20 minutes at 70 feet, the leading tissue number is 2. If we stay another 8 minutes, we get in the caution zone. Let's ascend to 50 feet. I have stayed here 10 minutes, and the leading tissue is now tissue number 4. The Pro Plus 2 tissue loading bar graph monitors 12 different nitrogen compartments simultaneously and displays the one that is in control of your dive. Let's now look at the oxygen accumulation bar graph. The O2 bar graph represents oxygen loading, showing the maximum of either per dive accumulated oxygen or a 24 hour period of accumulated oxygen. As your oxygen exposure increases during the dive, segments will add to the O2 bar graph. And as loading decreases, it will begin to recede, indicating that additional exposure is allowed for that dive and for a 24-hour period. O2 bar graph will only appear if diving nitrox. We will cover the O2 bar graph in more detail in the diving nitrox module. Let's now look at the variable ascent rate indicator. The Pro Plus 2 has a depth dependent variable ascent rate indicator that provides a visual representation of your ascent speed. Green is a normal ascent rate, yellow is a caution rate, and red is too fast. The segments of the variable ascent rate indicator represents two sets of speed which change at a reference of 60 feet. Here are the ascent rate values for depths deeper than 60 feet. And here are the values for depths shallower than 60 feet. Remember that at depth of 60 feet or shallower, ascent rates should not exceed 30 feet per minute. Let's now look at the air time remaining bar graph. The air time remaining bar graph provides a visual representation of the time you can remain at your present depth. And then following a safe ascent, surface with a predetermined reserve of breathing gas. This calculation and display is based on your breathing gas consumption rate. During the dive, the Pro Plus 2 continuously monitors your gas consumption and also takes into account the breathing gas required for a safe ascent, including any required safety and decompression stops. The green, yellow, and red zones adjacent to the bar graph enable you to quickly focus on remaining breathing gas based on your pre-selected end pressure alarm set point. Press next at the bottom of the screen.